Today we're talking about Rick and Morty, season four, episode seven, Primordius. I'm Max Prime. Push, push, push. Watch how I cook. Watch how they look. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Pro Mortius. That's right, if you're not into Rick and Morty, if you're not watching Rick and Morty Season 4, and if you're not caught up to Rick and Morty Season 4, Episode 7, entitled Pro Mortius, definitely catch up. Definitely watch Adult Swim. Definitely watch Rick and Morty on demand, catch up to it. This episode had everything, alien face huggers, all type of references to old episodes in Rick and Morty from the past seasons. And particularly the one reference that I'm talking about and for today's video is about when Rick and Morty actually suited up in the episode. They actually went like anime style and geared up in these like, you know, samurai style armors and it really resembled Ronin Warriors. That's right, they made a Ronin Warrior reference, which totally blew me away. But before Bleach, before One Piece, before Naruto, before Dragon Ball, I was a Ronin Warriors fanatic. That's right, the Ronin Warriors! You know, five mystical armors, like Ryu of Wildfire. I love that damn show. Like, I went out and bought the actual toys that came out with it. I had, like, the Ryu Wildfire. I had Ryu with the Inferno armor. Had, like, Ronin, like, a Rowan. I had every Ronin Warrior. Like, I thought it was, like, one of the best anime series that actually came out to date. Even just to give you more backstory about Ronin Warriors, remember, Ronin Warriors was the anime that debuted in 1988. That's right. Like 1988, um, it was a premier, the premier anime series that debuted in America that came straight from Japan. It was solid. It had like excellent characters, it had excellent voiceovers. Even in English, it wasn't that bad. So I love Ronin Warriors for the fact that you had like the five mystical armors. And then in the Rick and Morty episode, it actually references that. He actually, Rick is actually wearing Ryu wildfire armor, and then Morty's actually wearing Ryu's inferno armor, which was totally awesome. And I love in the episode, they actually like are carrying around the swords, like killing all the alien face huggers. And Rick's joke about all oh, the swords, you know, making my arm sword and stuff. Next time, we're not gonna use swords. Classic anime, like you should definitely watch it. If you never watched that, if you're a fan of, of, like I said, One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, any of that stuff, you gotta watch Ronin Warriors. That is the classic, that is this uh, epic, epic, epic show. And actually, Rick and Morty actually acknowledging it or actually referencing it in the ep actual episode is, I, I thought it was amazing. And like I said, I, it stuck out to me when that moment happened and I'm like, wait a minute, did anybody catch that? Like, holy crap, they like, they like Ronin Warriors. They put on the costume, like, that's awesome. They put on the armor, you know? So, I love the episode Primordius again. There was tons of other Easter eggs, but uh, again, this was mainly about Rona Warriors. Did you like Rona Warriors? What were your thoughts on the anime show? And do you think like Rick and Morty going on in the season will have more references to other like anime shows or cartoon shows? Because that was awesome. That actually paid homage. It wasn't even really kind of making fun of it either. Like that, that was, that was perfect. So again, I'm Max Prime. That was Primordius, Rona Warriors. I loved it. This was overall, discussion about Ronin Warriors, powers in the armor. I'm out.